good morning. I'm just shielding the mic a bit because I'm pointing directly into the subject that I'm shooting, which is a waterfall. Mm -hmm. Waterfall's probably a bit optimistic, maybe a water cascade. And as usual, I'm somewhere rather dodgy. I'm struggling with the sunrises and sunsets at the moment for the coast. And I'm also struggling with time. I've got stuff on that's filling my head. So I decided this weekend I would keep it local. And as I had so much fun in Pas de Gorge, I thought I'd come out to Wyming Brook and have another go at doing, well, ideally some intimate shots. <laughs> that's not working out here. But I have come across this first composition, which I actually quite like. Given that we've had what feels like 40 days and 40 nights of biblical rain, I figured there would be a lot of water flow down here. It's not as heavy as I expected, in all fairness, but I'll take it. I'm going to show you through the camera the composition that I'm doing, but I'm about I suppose about halfway down Padley, uh, Padley, Wyming. There's a very narrow, treacherous path because it's ridiculously wet. There's a huge amount of trees that have come down. And they also chopped some down, so I'm guessing stuff's been falling due to the, the water that we've had, the, the rain and the winds. Because it hasn't really been like August, although it is warm. Now I have, I've got my thin jacket on because there is a bit of a breeze, but we're still at about 18 degrees. I was aiming for something a little bit lighter and softer than I tend to do in woodland, but I'm not getting that either. It's either getting too bright or too dark. So I'm going to stick with what I enjoy and that sort of dark and moody, oh, and raining apparently. <laughs> a little bit dark, a little bit mysterious. The, I'm getting some light up there, but thankfully no horrible hot spots down here. So for the time being, I'll settle up. I'm going to wander a little bit further. I'm on a really tight time scale again today, <laughs> just for a change. So it's going to be short and sweet. I'm only after one image, one image that I'm happy with from a place I wouldn't normally consider coming during summer. <laughs> so there's some lovely doggies about. <laughs> um, partly because of the midges and partly because it's never really appealed, but I do like these greens. So let me stop waffling for a second and put you through the camera and I'll talk you through what we're doing. Now, much as I would dearly love to come and stand in front of this camera, I'm going to get extremely wet because down here is quite dark and uh, quite deep. This is also showing you poor landscape orientation where I'm actually shooting portrait. Although having looked at that, I quite like that. Um, I've got this little fall coming in here, just clipping into the right hand side of the image. And if I tilt you up, yes, you're going to go wonky, hold on. I'm getting these trees in at the top with the bit of light coming in right in the far distance. And then if I tilt you down, what we're getting is this swirl here, and that's curving round really nicely. There is a minute bit of this rock in the composition, which will get blown down. I can't do anything about it because I can't get any further over to my right, uh, to my left rather. Um, as per, let me straighten everything up, we have the polarizer on. No polarizer, isn't that just horrendous? And full polarizing effect just brings out the rocks and the greens and allows the swirls to really show through. This 
was going to be short and sweet. Let me turn this for a minute. And I was only going to do one image. And when I've come a little bit further down, the image I wanted is further down there. And I'm not going to get there because I'm running out of time. But I've come across this little scene and two things have caught my eye. I'm going to try and show you. It's going to get noisy. I can't help it. There is a fair old spate of water coming down here. So this is the scene. First of all, this fern here really caught my eye. It's beautiful shape. It's a vibrant colour. And secondly, if I can remember how to tilt you up, that's it. This tree arching above. There's going to be a little bit of movement in it because I've done a long exposure. And before everybody has to go, yes, I have done a shorter exposure, but I wanted to see what a long exposure would look like. And then we've got the water sort of zigzagging down. Oh, let's go up here. I'm using, let me tilt you down a minute. These rocks, on the image I've shot with this fern, purely the fern, I've just got this rock leading out to the fall. But then I've done a landscape orientation using both the rocks and the gap between them as centrally as I can on that, so I've got even amounts of rock either side, leading out to the fall and the trees in the background, because it's all this vibrant, rich greenery again. Now I've moved the tripod up. I had a bit of a fiddle and a faff, because I started off low. I tried a foam shot to start with, just to see if it was doable. And I decided it was. But I've had to bring the tripod up so I don't get the fall too badly cut off by this here rock. I quite like that. Now, settings-wise, well, let's start with filter, shall we? I've got the polarizer on. You saw that through the um, camera video that I just did. I've been shooting anywhere between f10. Oh, that, 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 yeah, that didn't work, did it? Um, in order to get my shutter speeds without putting the six or the ten stop on, I've been up to f20 and 1.6 seconds. I've been at f16 and 1.3 seconds. F18 and one second. F18 and a second. So I've been mixing and matching my shutter speeds, oh, excuse me, no, I've been mixing and matching my exposure times using shutter speed and aperture. I have done a couple where I've captured some motion in the water without the six stop, purely with the polarizer, because that loses one or two stops of light anyway. And then I've done a couple with the six stop, just because I fancied it. And I do like smooth water. I can't, I'm not going to make any apologies for it. So I quite like those. And that's it. I am now going to have to make moves because I need to be somewhere at 10 o'clock and it's probably 5 to 10 now. <laughs> and I've got a 20 minute walk back up the road. So, yes. Definitely one image, possibly three. I don't know. When I get them into processing, then we'll have a better look. So that's it. Short and sweet. I always say that, don't I? And I always end up rattling on phrases. And I will try and motivate myself to get back to the coast again at some point fairly soon. So have a great week, guys and girls. Look after yourselves. Catch you next weekend. Bye for now.